a big concern for slots enthusiasts is if casinos are trying to get back their lost gaming revenue by reducing their return to player. But is that true state by state? Let's look closely at Iowa's riverboats and land-based casinos. Iowa has 19 commercial casinos and four tribal casinos. The largest casino in Iowa is Prairie Meadows, and the second largest is Horseshoe Casino Council Bluffs. Since 1972, Iowa has been at the forefront of the gambling industry with regards to legalized gaming after Nevada and New Jersey. Iowa was the first state to legalize riverboat casinos and allow both slot machines and table games at paramutual racetrack facilities. By doing so, they created the first racinos. The state legislature created the Iowa Racing and Gaming Commission with the passing of the Paramutual Wagering Act of May 1983. The IRGC administers this act and the Exclusive Boat Gambling Act of 1989, which legalized riverboat casinos. Iowa's compacts with its three tribes with casinos have minimum and maximum theoretical payout limits of 80% and 99% of the amount wagered. However, Iowa's tribal casinos do not offer return statistics, and Iowa's commercial casinos do not have theoretical payout limits. However, under the Gaming Revenue Reports, the IRGC shares casino hold percent in the line item slot revenue percentage. The return statistics for Iowa's 19 commercial casinos are available in the IRGC's archives going back to calendar year 1991. But see the monthly player return percentages at Iowa casinos from the beginning of 2019 to the latest available. The gap in data is from when Iowa's casinos closed for at least two full months as a public health response. All Iowa casinos have a player win percentage from about 88.5% to just over 92%, a range of about 3.5%. Most Iowa casinos are quite consistent regarding their monthly player win percentage for the last two years and more. As a clear indication of how well casinos target their player win percentages, we can see how each casino has chosen and closely maintains their monthly return to player. I've highlighted the colored line for each casino necessary given Iowa's 19 commercial casinos with monthly return statistics. Further, I've limited the date range to 2021 and after. I've also highlighted the two casinos with best and worst returns since January 2021. The return data shows that Prairie Meadows had the highest overall return until the last few months, while Lakeside usually has the lowest overall return. Because returns are reported by the state of Iowa, savvy slots enthusiasts can choose casinos with better return to player than their competitors. Iowa's neighboring state to the East also has return statistics to check out to see if your odds of winning are better there. Competitors are a good thing when it comes to casinos, so I highly recommend that you watch this video to better understand your slot options.